Okay, Miss High and Mighty. It is absolutely possible to obtain Jeremy Gill's unique hat for Arthur, but I'll warn you now, it's not going to be pretty. There will be violence involved and honor loss, and you might even feel a little bad about it. But before we begin, I need to mention that this is not my technique. That credit goes to a subscriber and a founding member of Team Super Antonio, a Blaze Demon. We were having a nice conversation in the comments when he came up with this idea. And to be honest, it had never even occurred to me to go for Jeremy Gill's hat, so let's do this. There he is, and there is the hat. Do not approach, do not engage, do not trigger this stranger event. I recommend making a save before you start in case something goes wrong, because any time you go off grid, the game can react in unanticipated ways. So if you mess up, you can just reload this save. Here's the location, Gill Landing near the Lemoyne border on Flatiron Lake. You need to go fishing with Jack in Chapter 2 before this stranger event will appear on your map. And as you probably know, Jeremy Gill unlocks the Legendary Fish Challenge. Okay, again, do not engage. Instead, take a shot at him, or in my case, toss some dynamite. I like dynamite. To paraphrase the Joker, dynamite is cheap. He will run off. We can chase him down with the horse, but I don't see a reason to involve the horse in our shenanigans. I am convinced that horses experience honor loss too, and I want to spare her that. So we toss another dynamite and boom, free hat. Now I know what you're thinking, we have the hat but we're locked out of the legendary fishes, but wait, there's more. Come back the next day and the stranger event will respawn. Jeremy wasn't dead after all, he was just taking a nap on the beach. And he has another hat. He had an extra one, so we're all good. I'm gonna let this cutscene play out because I found it amusing to see Arthur and Jeremy Gill with the exact same hat, and I think you will too. God. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph? Or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah! Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Oh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> It helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. 
There's no money in Tiddlers. So I hear. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner!